Hey guys, welcome back to this from the BTN HD. And yes, today we're upgrading my home server again. The last time that I upgraded with you guys, uh, I inserted a graphics card and I also purchased a uh, keyboard, a mechanical keyboard. Today I'm upgrading the hard drive space to a solid state drive. I picked up the Tryon 150, uh, the OCZ from Toshiba, 240 gigs, which is not that bad. Uh, I believe the read speed is up to 550 megabytes per second and the write speed is about 520 megabytes per second which is great for my virtual machines. Uh, this particular tower, you probably guys are saying, oh the cables are crazy. I know I should have did a little bit of cable management but this tower sucks. I'm definitely going to be upgrading this tower because it doesn't have any room at all. So I need to do uh, a little bit of tie, tying all the cables together, which I'm going to do a little bit later. I have my ESD strap on, which I'm going to strap on before I touch anything inside our computer. I have a compressed air can to do a little bit cleanup. It's always good to uh, open up your tower maybe every three or six months and just clean it up. I like to do it every three months. So I'm going to put that to the side. And um, I already have the bracket. The bracket I actually picked it up in Amazon. It's from Cybrant, five bucks because this tower didn't have an extra bucket for the solid state drive. You have four screws, so you have to screw it in both sides or you could do it at the bottom part. I did it on the side. On this particular model, there's a mechanism that you could just screw to lock it. You gotta make sure that these two slots right here fit this right here. We're gonna slide it in. And also make sure that the back part is facing this way because this is where you're gonna be putting the cables. This is the power and this is the SATA. It kind of sucks that you pay so much money for these solid state drives and they don't come with a cable. So make sure you pick up a cable or if you have extra ones, don't throw them away. So I'm going to insert this guy in here. Now the reason why I am upgrading my uh, or I'm placing a solid state drive is because a couple of virtual machines that I'm running need that write and read speed. Now this hard drive is not really classified as a gaming laptop. You could probably use it for gaming, but uh, for what I'm doing will work great. Uh, so let's find those two slots and once I find those two slots, I'm just going to, where are you? Okay, once you find those two slots and you're just going to clip it, it's good to go. It's nice and secure. Awesome. Next thing that we need to do is get a SATA cable and we need to insert it. Now for this particular motherboard, the SATA ports are right here and I'm going to insert one in. Awesome. And the other end is going to be inserted into our hard drive or our solid state drive. Awesome. Great. Now the next thing that we need is power. So depending on what power supply you have, this one right here is an old school power supply. It doesn't have the modules that you can plug in. It's just one long cable with all the uh, power cables. And I definitely need to upgrade. So there's a couple of things that I need to upgrade my, my virtual machine server. I'm, I'm going to upgrade my CPU tower and I'm definitely going to be upgrading my power supply with a little heavier stuff and I'm definitely going to be upgrading the Thermatake. Now, this home server is the first build that I did with you guys in the YouTube world. This is the one under $500 performance PC and I just took it and started putting all my virtual machines on it and it works like a champ. And we're going to take the SATA and we're going to insert it in here. Hard working person right here. I just cut myself. Awesome. Beautiful. I'm over here bleeding for you guys. I'm bleeding for you guys. And that's it guys. That is my, um, my kind of diary or my vlog of my virtual machine server that I've been building with you guys. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up with the air compressor. Where's my air compressor? Do a little bit of cleanup before I close it up. See all that dust. It's always good that you clean your machine. Again, like I said earlier, about every three or six months, I like to do it three months. Just open it up, clean it out. Make sure you clean all that dust inside the CPU fan. Uh, if you have a uh, GPU processor with dual or single fans, clean that stuff out. Clean the fan on the, uh, the, uh, the power supply. If you have multiple uh, computer tower fans in the back or in the front, open those bad boys up, clean it. Some computer towers have filters at the bottom. Take the filter out, wash it out, make sure it's nice and dry, and just clean it. Keep your machine healthy because if you keep it clean and healthy, I guarantee you it will last longer. Hopefully you guys enjoy this home server update, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.